history with Larry. All right, Larry. Yeah, we were just right. talking, and then I realized Josh was ready, so we got to yeah. go. So what do we got this week for history? All righty. Well, In modern been, history. Yeah, it's it's been, what, a couple of weeks? Yes. Yeah, yeah, because well, we the recording, to, yes, because yeah. the camp got yeah. in the way there. But uh, So when you say modern history, was I alive for this? No. Okay, so, yeah. okay. It's not that modern. I don't know where they make this distinction, Dad. modern history versus... Ancient World history. War we'll go with World War One. Yeah, so this takes place in the 19th century. Oh, okay. Well, 20th century, sorry, oh. because the, in 19, the 1900s. Yeah, the 1900s okay. are the 20th century. Which All right. is, yeah. I feel like we should, instead of anyway. do this, we're going to do like 20 questions and let's figure it out. <laughs> okay, no. All right, well, you know how some men in history, they have a vision of what they want to do and they want to. It's it's big. It's a big vision. Yeah, well, sure, all the famous ones, at least. Right, okay. and and usually they suffer ridicule or scoffing oh, by the yes. ones. That, yeah. At least they make that part up. At least like, well, oh, no I, one believed in me. I'm well, like, yeah, okay. I mean, an example. This happened in Florida with Walt Disney when he wanted to build yep. Disney World in Orlando. He uh, at the time the I four corridor they call it Interstate four I four was connect going to connect Tampa to Orlando. And he petitioned the state to make it wider than what they had originally planned because he was going to build this he had theme a big park vision, and he yes. had a big vision. And uh, the state kind of laughed at him. So Said, I don't think so. I don't, I think, don't yeah. think so, Tim. <laughs> well, <laughs> since then, they've built I-4 like four or five times, yes. made it much bigger. Yeah. And, and Disney is what it is. And Disney's huge. Right. So, Are we talking about Disney? We're not talking uh, about Disney, okay. but just to give I got an that example. One. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's not about this. This story is about a man named Sam. Sam. Sam, not Sam Wise. Sam I am. Yeah, or yeah, Sam, Sam I am. I am. That's yeah, Sam I am. Okay. Sam was born in Kingfisher, Oklahoma. Now Ooh. I don't. I didn't know they had Kingfishers in Oklahoma. But, <laughs> I, I, but, I, I yeah. know here in Louisiana. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, mean that was the name of a governor. But that's a bird. Okay. Right. Yeah. But uh, anyway, anyway, in Oklahoma in 1918. So during World War One. Oh yeah. Or I, I guess the United States was in World War One in 1918. But anyway, Sam was born in 1918 in Oklahoma. Okay. Family moved to Missouri not long after that. I know where this up. is going. Oh yeah, it maybe. Went, yeah, to Missouri from Oklahoma. Okay. Would that be Easter? Anyway. <laughs> anyway, he stayed East. there, grew up in Oklahoma. He went to not Oklahoma, Missouri. Graduated from University of Missouri. Oh. In Columbia, Missouri. I'm sorry, the yeah, Tigers. Poor guy. Yeah. Yeah, you think that? I guess that's the LSU is not the only team with a tiger. Well, technically, LSU is the Fighting Tigers. Oh. Missouri is I forget what kind of tigers, and Auburn Tigers are different. There's a lot of tigers, and they there's very no creative. tigers in the United States in the wild. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so, anyway, he graduated with a degree in economics. Okay, yeah, that would in, make uh, sense. 1940, and then he went to. Work. He actually went. He went to work for a, a retailer at oh, the time, I but they exactly sent him to management on. training. I have a guess for a little uh, retail store called J.C. Penney's. J.C. Penney's. Don't yeah. you don't say. Okay. But then World War II broke out, and so he enlisted in the army, and he was a captain uh-huh. in the intelligence unit in captain the army. My captain. Yes. But after the war, he came home. Like, what am I going to do? He borrowed twenty five thousand dollars. That's a lot of money back uh, then. That is a that lot, is a lot. Yes. from his father in law. Oh wow! Now, what would you think if uh, Cameron came to you and said, "Hey, I got this business idea"? Say, I don't Can, think so. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <you tell me. laughs> I mean, that would be what? Uh, I mean, just no offense, Cameron. Yeah, <laughs> but I don't think so. Close to a hundred thousand dollars today. Oh, probably yeah. easily. Probably wow. even more. Well, he bought a franchise store called Benjamin Franklin Five and Dime. I don't That's know if you've ever name. heard of that. No. I had, when I was a kid, uh, next in this plaza next to a Kmart, they had a Ben, ben Franklin Five and Dime. Wow. Wow. Yeah, so that's how old I, I am. I heard yeah. the wooden nickel, but, yeah. <laughs> but not the Five and Dime. Yeah. Uh, he bought one store with that $25,000 he borrowed, and then he and his brother, they became successful. They ended up owning 15 stores. The Benjamins? Benjamin Franklin. When did they change the name to Walmart? Well, I'm getting there. Hey. Okay. <laughs> so, but he had a vision at the time. He wanted to target more rural areas. He, he started Target. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> 
But Benjamin Franklin, the upper management, they didn't see the vision. No, that was Dollar General. They saw that vision. Yeah. <laughs> and they wanted to stay more around larger cities where sure. there's more people. <laughs> more sense. people means <laughs> right. more money. And so he got a little perturbed and said, I'm going to go start my own. Really? And so he did. Ah. So he started a little retail store. Yep. And it grew. And Those you are Waltons. Sam Walton. Yeah. Started a little retail store we call Walmart. Yeah. And when did he start Arkansas? Sam's Club? Uh, it was, I don't remember. Now, I looked at later. the day. It, it actually, I mean, Walmart grew like just crazy. And one of the things he did, it, he wanted to target rural areas so that people in rural areas had access to goods and, you know, shopping. Sure. And, and then it, it just took off and it, I mean, it's a worldwide, one of the largest corporations in the world today. Oh, yeah, by far. Yeah. And, um, in fact, when I was a kid, I, I, don't, I don't remember Walmart really growing up. Like, I know there yeah. was one in town, but we didn't shop there. Yeah. I can't imagine, like, a, a place not having a Walmart. We didn't get a Walmart in the St. Petersburg area until, I want to say the... Mid eighties, okay, sure, something like that, maybe sure. late eighties, and we had Kmart. I mean, come yeah, on, yeah, we had K- yeah, <laughs> and that's another thing. So the blue light special, come on, Ben Ben Franklin's Five and Dime, yeah, Walmart put him out of business, yeah, they should have listened to him, yeah. And, and what did his brother do? Come and work for him, most likely, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I, it's just amazing mm-hmm. how sometimes people have these visions and they go for it and. Mm-hmm. But through all the ridicule and scoffing, and yeah. he took a risk, and it just took off. And yeah, to, I mean, it is amazing. That, I mean, everybody has those scoffers at some yeah. point, even if they're Michael Jordan. Like, you know, yeah. Michael Jordan, one of the greatest basketball oh, yeah. players of all time. He'll take one comment from someone and blow it up. He'll make stuff up. Like someone, <laughs> I never said that. <laughs> but in his mind, just to, you know, motivate them, oh, yeah. and, you know. But, yeah. you know, there are legitimate concerns of, hey, you're going to start. I'm sure he never thought this was going to be a worldwide I, you No, know, I don't thing. think so. But he just wanted I mean, to start some shops and yeah. whatever. And next thing, it was in Arkansas, for crying out loud. Yeah, Bentonville, Arkansas, there's really not much right. there. Right. It's just, it is a rural area, so... <laughs> A rural, wow. a rural, rural. That's but um, yeah, he uh, he stayed a humble guy. He he drove a it was like a 1985 pickup truck. I mean, he could afford whatever he wanted, and he actually stayed. Him and his wife, he mar- they married in 1943. Okay, and they stayed married when he died in 1992. So yeah, yeah, it's kind of neat. That, and then uh, he uh, broke up his empire to his kids, and yeah, yeah, they. But took it to what it, I mean, it's, yeah, I remember, like I said, when it was late 80s when Walmart came to St. Pete, I, I remember hearing somebody talking about this store, Walmart, and right. like, I don't know what it was. And I remember going to Walmart before it was a super Walmart. Yeah. And, and it was oh, just, a super Walmart. You know, you could yeah. just go and get, you know, all the stuff, stuff that's not the food right, stuff. Right, yeah. Right. But nobody really cared much about it until Yeah, because it was super worse Walmart than Target. Came. You know, you're like, who wants to go to Walmart? We it's, never even heard of Target. It, really? You didn't have a Target? No. no. Target came later. Well, not for our city. I mean, oh, we had really? a Target wow. right around the corner from us, and we always went to a Target. Wow. Yeah, it wasn't until lately that we'd never go to Target anymore. Yeah, but, we yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so um, they, uh, he put Kmart out of business. Yeah. Walmart, yeah. Uh, um, no, um, J.C. Ben Penny. Oh. J.C. Penny. Sears. Sears. They all struggled. Yeah, but they all, but yeah. now you know who's going to put Walmart out of business? Probably Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. So about 20 years, we're going to be talking about History Time with Larry and be Jeff Bezos. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I almost did something on Jeff Bezos because that is an interesting story and oh, how yeah. he got started. So. Maybe for another time. Oh, you kind of gave your hand away now. I know. Yeah. yeah. You're going to have to bury it now. Yeah, maybe wait a month and then come back to it. Maybe Jeff has a real name that's not Jeff and you can you know, hide it. Use his middle name. Right. <laughs> you know, it's a boy name. Yeah. Sam. Yeah, so that's an, I mean, that's Walmart. It started yeah. from uh, oh. some guy wanting to do something with a, a store that already existed. Yeah, borrowed money from and, his father-in-law. Why not ask, you know? And the upper management of the company didn't want to listen to him and didn't see his vision. And yeah. he said, well, then I'll do my own. I'll do it anyway. Well, the father-in-law yeah. had to believe in him. Yeah. Can you yeah. imagine that? 
Like, oh boy, if you fail, yeah. I have my daughter back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I have my 25000 That's right. 